Kansas State recently received great news as wide receiver Philip Brooks announced via his Instagram account that he will return to the school for a sixth season. It's an extra COVID year for him as he played in the 2020 season and had his scholarship clock expired, so he'll be able to play one more season because of that. You're listening to Derek Young of K-State Online, and as always, remember to like, follow, subscribe, and comment on all of our videos on our YouTube channel. Yes, Kansas State has gotten some good news from a handful of super seniors, including the entire offensive line will be coming back to Manhattan, which includes seniors Hayden Gillum, Christian Duffy, and KT Leviston. Uh, Seth Porter at wide receiver and long snapper Random Platner are also reported to be coming back to Kansas State. But the recent announcement is receiver Philip Brooks announcing he's going to be coming back to K-State for a sixth season. Philip Brooks is off his best season yet in 2022, where he caught 45 passes uh, for the Wildcats and for 587 yards and four touchdowns. Of course, that was in four games because Kansas State advanced to the Big 12 championship game where they defeated eventual national runner-up TCU, and then K-State played in the Sugar Bowl as well. Brooks also played in the 2021 season where he led Kansas State with 543 receiving yards. That's a lot of experience and production returning to the receiver unit and is a very welcome sign for Kansas State because they are going to be without two of the three starters next year. Malik Knowles will try his bout with the NFL, and Cade Warner has graduated and his eligibility has expired. Experience will be needed on offense, and Phillip Brooks will be looked to for that department and be seen as one of the captains for Kansas State going forward most likely. Another element where he will help out is in the punt return game, where he will play for his fourth straight season as Kansas State's punt returner instead of Seth Porter, who was thought to be filling in for him. As always, you're listening to K-State Online YouTube, and keep it locked for other announcements, including who may go to the NFL from Kansas State as well. You're listening to K-State Online.